Video showing Surfside police chasing a suspect, a suspected bike thief in handcuffs and tasing him, and then you see him fall right on his yeah. face. CBS 4's Hank Tester joins us live from Surfside with the latest. Hank. Well, as you saw there, one Surfside cop is a pretty doggone good shot with a uh, taser. He dropped that alleged bike uh, thief right on his face, and as you know, all caught on video. Let's take a look. There is a lesson here. Never run away from the Surfside cops, especially when you're handcuffed. And one of the officers is really good with a taser. When you kiss the pavement face first, the results are not pretty. Meet 26-year-old Carlos Sierra, bicycle thief, say police. Known homeless male with an extensive criminal history in burglary and theft. It starts early Saturday morning. Surfside police get a call saying someone is stealing a bike in a condo parking garage located at 95th and Collins. Two officers arrive and catch the suspect red-handed. Down goes the bike. The subject hits the garage floor. The officers approach with their tasers drawn. Carlos Sierra is cuffed, eventually allowed to get up, and is headed off to a waiting patrol car. They did everything by the book. But Carlos Sierra is not playing by the book. Handcuffed, he bolts out into busy Collins Avenue. Even though it's early morning, there is traffic. Officers in hot pursuit. He does not get far. I don't know how he thought he was going to get away. He was already in handcuffs. So I think he just took um, a leap of faith. A leap of faith that landed him face first in the middle of Collins Avenue and charges of burglary, resisting arrest, and criminal mischief. The officer did an excellent job in shooting his taser and able to catch the subject. I remember Carlos Sierra had his hands cuffed behind him. When he fell, he couldn't break the fall straight into the asphalt with his face that had to hurt. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight. Back to you.